evening, we're a little further back. Well, I'll tell you why later on. Um, we're going to play for about 30 minutes or so. Uh, and then there's going to be a short intermission. You'll be able to get tea and coffee and things. And buy lots of CDs. Uh, and then the stars of the evening are coming on. A couple more lights. Uh, the whole thing should wrap up around about 9 o'clock. So. so enjoy it.
Thomas Bolton, the Cotton Mice. Um, two fantastic players, I'll talk about them a little bit later on. Um, we're here for the CD launch, which is a great occasion. Uh, so make sure you buy lots of CDs. Um, the, um, when you get a CD, I've had it for about, I've got a pre-release search, I've got the last one, <coughs> had it for about a month. And there are five tracks on there. And one is written by and quotes a professional player. And when you get the CD, don't look at the names of the songs or who wrote them. I challenge you to play it and try and spot which one they didn't write, which one is written by a professional. Because the other four are such a standard. It's absolutely amazing. So, thrilled to be playing for them. Thrilled to have them be at the highlight of the night. And I hope we get through. There's, there's no voices in this. We're not going to be singing at all. So you're saved from that. <laughs> okay. um, so the first one was Rise of Jane. It's a traditional song, an old time song. Lots of different versions of it. Uh, and the next one that we did was Dry and Dusty, which was written by <coughs> the late Mike the lead. I've got to be careful because Paul Brewer is in the front row who knows everything about everything in Bluegrass. So I believe it was Kenny Baker, and the version we did was by Whitney Haas. And we're going to play uh, Daylight in the Creek, which is by, by John Reichman. Uh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to finish this, uh, these two numbers with Verona, which is a jazzy number written by Bill Frizzell. Um, really nice and melodic tune. Thank you. 
stupidly, I tend to choose lots of obscure tunes to play instead of learning all the tunes I should be learning. <laughs> uh, today I was playing jams. And then um, we also learned too. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up learning all these obscure tunes that nobody else knows. And in fact, I was banned from sending any new tunes to Jamie and to Claire uh, because every week I send a new tune for them to learn. And they said, just stop. <laughs> uh, luckily, I found Jeff, who's a fantastic guitar player, an amazing guitar player. Uh, and Jeff has been encouraging me to leave it at the <laughs> It's my blessing, I'm very, very lucky. Um, we're called A Little Further Back, and you might think that's a very strange name. It is. And the reason for that is when we get together to, to practice, uh, I've got a little mandolin, and he's got a great big Martin guitar, very loud guitar, and he's a very powerful player. Um, so as we were playing, I'd say to him, Jeff, can you just go a little further back? No, further back? No, no, further back. And you almost get him out the door. So, it's a so we're a little further back, and we're very pleased to be playing for you. So. Okay, um, next couple of numbers. Um, it's a right one. Bourbon Breakdown, uh, which is a little bit jazzy for him, it's not his normal stuff. And I find it very difficult to play, so expect fireworks. <laughs> um, and then we're going to do probably the only traditional bluegrass song, and again, Paul, correct me if I'm wrong, it's um, Cluck Old Hen. We're going to do two little passes of that, and go into a tune by Bill Munro, which is Farewell to Long Hollow. I think it's a great tune, I don't think he recorded it, he wrote it, uh, and lots of people play it, and I tend to bring it along to all the jams that I go to. I'm trying to get you introduced, but I think it should be played more. That's what we're going to do.
youngsters to play music that they love. It's the other way around with them. They actually got mum and dad to buy instruments, <laughs> buy great with the bass, uh, and to play together. And it's a family combo. It's fantastic to see that. It's fantastic to, to watch them grow. Uh, and the other thing that you probably don't know is that on school days, the girls set their alarm an hour early. They set it for about six in the morning. They get up and an hour before going off to school, or having breakfast and going to school, they have an hour of practice or songwriting, uh, rehearsing, it's absolutely amazing. And when they come back from school, they spend uh, a little time doing their homework as the diligent good girls, <laughs> as quick as they can. And then they go back to the practice room and spend another hour or two writing more stuff. And it's just an, an absolute inspiration. It's sickening, actually. Hating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to play. Um, oh, the other thing I should say is that they couldn't do that without the support of Dad. And mom, so I think they should have a little bit. Such a lovely family, it's really funny. Um, I feel like my family. Um, okay, what have we got now? Uh, Hartford's Real, this is another one I find really tricky, so I've got this one. Hartford's Real, um, which was written uh, by David Grisman and Sam Bush, I believe, and it's written for the guy that wrote Gems on My Mind, um, John Hartford. Um, it's a nice tune, it doesn't get played very often. Um, and then the, uh, the next one is a John Reichen tune. Um, <laughs> John, I'll set you a John Reichen, he'll stick. Uh, Prairie Jaw. And he wrote it, it's a beautiful tune, he wrote it for his wife. Uh, it's a lovely song, Prairie Jaw. Thank you. 
bit cheery about that. You clap it, don't you? Um, the last song I'm going to do is by uh, David Grisman, uh, and he got the name, the nickname of the dog, and it's called Bow Wow. So it's very apt. Uh, and just a final thank you to the girls, um, the lovely dad here, to the lovely mum at the back there, um, to the fantastic guitarist over here, Jeff Evans, um, and to you guys for being so quiet and listening and clapping. So bow wow by Dave Christmas. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.